if I can convince him to convince his boss to convince his boss to convince her boss to digitize all the paper records in their yeah, local facility. Your passion, but I got tickets to the Goo Goo Dolls reunion concert tonight, so let's wrap this up, okay? <laughs> He was having the engineers install root kits on all of Evil Corp's phones. I tipped off the FBI, got him arrested, mm. and promptly set a meeting with the next exec up the chain. I guess we need to get rid of that guy too, huh? The paper says Sioux Falls. Yeah, you're in Sioux Falls, Earl. Sure as shit don't make no sense. All right. Unpacker boys! I'm sending shipping. <laughs> Poor Earl. He will get fired. <laughs> Eliminating physical paper delivery. We can cut e shipping costs. Yeah, we need to kill that guy's career too. He had his engineering team use special software to help E Corp's auto manufacturing partners cheat the emissions test to hide how much pollution they really created. convenient that all of them are dirty. You know me, I do what the paper says. Right. <laughs> Not shipping paper records here is the best option for our recovery efforts. Perfect. Of course, it's the woman. <laughs> that agrees and that probably has no dirty secrets. Sure. The loneliness came back. Worse than I remember. I don't get it. I know I'm doing the right thing. You have to see that. You're just missing Mr. Robot. Hmm. I'll be working from my home office for a while. Am I supposed to say something? It's a nice rug. <laughs> <laughs> we made this snowman and we called him Kevin McAllister. We even did the hands to the face like how he does in the movie. He just looked like a snowman with no arms and weird cheeks. <laughs> it's pretty much what Kevin McAllister looked like. The day of my accident, when my dad pushed me out the window, we were at the hospital till pretty late. <laughs> Your dad pushed you out a window? I could have sworn I told you. Maybe this session isn't real. <laughs> just in your head again. What made you think of this just now? Do you have a snowman in the corner? <laughs> Take your time, Elliot. I didn't need Scott Knowles to be arrested to know that my husband is innocent. Mm -hmm. Mr. Knowles is clearly a troubled man and has been fixating on us for some time. <laughs> he is the only man I've ever loved and the only man I ever will love. What about your son, huh? You don't love him? Can we please get rid of this character? You have been warned. It was released about an hour ago. That video is bullshit. That video came from the same Vimeo account as the last one you guys used. Like it can't be hacked. Oh, come on. You're a CHS. You understand what that means, right? I don't no. understand half the letters you guys throw at me. Confidential human source. Cool. Now I get it. What happened to CI? <laughs> not enough letters? He is not, nor has he ever, had a fucking relationship with Tyrell. <laughs> Just 16, 2015. Bonsoir, Elliot. Does Stalin even know? Tyrell? And what his voice sounds like? Did they ever meet? Did he ever speak on TV? Stay here.
Get shot, dude. Hmm, just the bartender? <laughs> she went on national television and she says she still loves him. Maybe it was a lie. You love me! He just needed a little clarity. Called it. Bit late, but called it. <laughs> My man. My man, the barkeeper. Can't remember his name. But you're the man, dude. Now please find Darlene. <laughs> Now what about little Tyrell? I'm sure we didn't survive. This information is too sensitive to share with the public. We got lucky we were on the scene before anyone saw the body. Why do we actually have to see that there in the background? Is that important? Your focus needs to stay on Tyrell and F Society. What the fuck are they yeah, actually doing? Zeroing in on the guy. Why are they taking hundreds of photos of her brain? She was shot in the head. What's the purpose of that? No, she's good. Okay, seriously, how many photos does he need? What the fuck was that? Why'd you text me, Darlene? What am I doing here? I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks. Could have called. <laughs> Don't think for a second our shitty childhood is only yours. I wish dad were here right now. Oh, just one moment. Uh, hey, honey. <laughs> the real reason I did all of this was so that we could be close again. I guess that's something else I thought you'd want to know. Don't trust her. She just wants information. You remember when we made Kevin McAllister the snowman? Of course. Of course. How could I forget that glorious moment? Do you, do you want to talk about it? <laughs> do you want to talk about it? Those eyes of hers, I contemplated firing a bullet into each of them, but they're just so... Hypnotizing. Don't mistake my generosity for generosity. <laughs> what were you doing by my computer? I saw you behind the monitor. Jesus, I was looking for a pen to write you a note. It's Mr. Robot. He's not avoiding eye contact. <laughs> it's you. What did you do with the computer? Why did you sleep here last night? You're scaring me. Answer me! You're hurting me! Answer me! Stop! What? Stop! Stay the fuck away from me, you fucking psycho. <laughs> I need you to talk to him. Didn't you say that that could help? Everyone's case is different. But yes. She's the most unbelievable therapist I've ever seen in a movie or a show. She's way too emotional. I already noticed that in season one. Just the way she looked at him right there. She's just too unbalanced in her expressions. She should, should be much calmer. Also look calmer to calm the patient. Elliot? Look at that intense look. That's not a therapist. Can I ask for your name? Now, what does he call me? Mr. Robot. <laughs> Seriously? He still calls me that? Talk about labels. What are we supposed to call you? Man in a head? Four eyes? Daddy? Neither has nor deserves the prospect of a lasting existence. Who said that? Freud. Oh. Beautiful and smart. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? A therapist managed to identify 
a Freudian quote. I'm Devin, talking to you. I'm just kiddo. <laughs> Krista. Krista. <laughs> what did Mr. Robot mean? We've been compromised. You were there, you heard it along with her, right? What was Mr. Robot talking about? Separation Anxiety. <laughs> Starring Will Ferrell and Judy Dench. That bills are through the roof because this little piece of shit is sick. She's been shitting all over my house for weeks. Let her shit all over your house. Like you did mine. <laughs> you get anything from Elliot's computer? He hasn't logged in all day. Last night he sent an encrypted email with the link. Could be lucky. Could be sending it to Tyrell, right? This was from last night. Why does Elliot actually have a desktop computer? When last season ended, he only had a laptop. Is Darlene home? No, she's out. You think she told someone about the safe house? This email he sent from his computer. Did you go to this link? Yeah. Downloaded the file, opened it, but didn't find anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did he hack you? This email wasn't for Tyrell. It was for us. 